Asian person in every room I'm in. And I walk in 40 minutes late, always ready for the confetti cannon, hoping for it to be now already. The big stage, or the big love, or the five foot eight blessing who will hold me like a blessing back to be close enough to touch just once. And so I lie awake in my childhood bed, a memorialized coffin of my old self, and wonder if a five hour plane ride will manifest after months of imagination, or if the promise of a ticket, or years of hustle, or goodness to those who wait, always on the brink of something beautiful, will stay a hologram, hot for the time being, pretending to be grateful just for being a fish in a bowl, bruising for ocean, a hawk in a jar, a lion flapping in the body of an ostrich. I am confined to the city. I'm confined to this map, fucking other people to feel something. I get split in half and never sewn back together with a spirit that's a wet cunt, overlapping myself, always desperate for this boundless future I can almost live. And what if I always want more? More than Starbucks gift cards and handshakes as checks and blood that only knows my resume and clothing size. What if I'm hungry my whole life? Yesterday, I had a salad that tasted like a burger after flying through a city where the McDonald's was the same size of the mosque. And I would feed my bite-sized belief holes fries and forgiveness. I'm a loud bitch in a quiet place munching on the unmanifested, falling in love through Facebook, chasing dreams behind email screens, always looking ahead, I suspend myself up. I must play in the sky and climb the city inside out until the ground begs for me back, until my soon becomes the crash and breath of now. Until my alarm clock chest goes off with trombones and orgasms and I realize I'm always in this painful dance of becoming.